Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to our channel. And today, under our series of Oracle SOA tutorials, we will be learning about DB adapter, how to use DB adapter in Oracle SOA, or how to interact with database, Oracle database using Oracle service oriented architecture. So we have divided this session into two parts. So first, we will be doing the oracle web logic server configurations so as you can see on your screen at the moment so this session 10 is divided into two parts first which is very important we will be taking care of oracle web logic server configurations which are which is vital in order to use db adapter in your service and in the second part we will be doing the development and we will be using whatever configurations that we did in part one in order to achieve the business logic so let's start so first of all you need an oracle db installed in your machine or into the same server so let's start first of all we will be needing a database con connection string in order to create the data source jndi into our uh, console so let's log in here and I have database installed in my local machine only which I will be using to get the data source connection established within web logic so from your home screen you will need to go to this source section here And here you will need to create a new data source, new generic data source. So here you will have to give a name to your data source. So we can give it any name. So let's just say DB demo one. And similarly, the JNDI ideally should begin with JDBC slash the name of your data source. So this is a naming convention that we follow it's a good practice to use this sort of naming convention whenever we are dealing with data sources so jdbc is java database connectivity and database type is oracle so we'll keep it as it is and we'll click on next here we will need to select the xa or non-xa data source which data source we want to create uh, we will cover that xa non-xa in a different tutorial altogether because it's a very important and a lengthy topic but let's just say whenever you want your database to support global transactions, then you will select XA. If you want uh, your data source to support local transactions, then you will select non-XA. So in here, whichever is not XA is non-XA only. So we will select S XA for our tutorial. We will click on next. Next. And now we will need to give the connection details of uh, of our database so here are connection details of our database so database is ORCO host is localhost user is ODI user and let me put in the password now we'll click on next and a connection string should be created so here the url of our data source which is also called connection string now we can test it that if our data source is working or not and it says that connection test succeeded so now our data source is almost created and we'll click on the server here we we'll click on finish and here it says that all changes have been activated no restarts are necessary so this is a, a dev version which is installed in my machine that's why it says it has auto activated but in your uh, 
company environment or higher environment you might be you might need to activate your changes explicitly by clicking on activate button which will appear somewhere here on your uh, left top corner but at the moment we do not need to restart anything so we'll see that this db demo has been created so we'll copy this jndi name because it will come in handy later on so this we have created this jndi now the second step is that we will need to create a jndi for outbound connection pool what it is that whenever we will be developing soa service using db adapter db adapter will not directly interact with the data source however it will be interacting with outbound connection pool and outbound connection pool will link the code with this data source you will see what i'm talking about in a moment so under this deployment section we'll click here and here are list of all adapters we'll click on db adapter from here we'll go to configurations and then outbound connection pools here we can create a new outbound connection pool click on next and now we will give a jndi so naming convention for this usually is eis dash db dash demo db1 the one i mean you can keep it whatever you want but this is a naming convention which is recommended by oracle as well so we'll stick to it only we'll click on finish now so we'll be able to see the eis db demo db1 is created here however we'll need to link this to the data source that we just created so we'll need to make some changes in the properties of this particular outbound connection pool so let me just save this connection pool name as well because that will definitely come in handy when we will be developing the project and thing that we need to add in this outbound connection pool is that this jndi of data source so under here if you'll see xa data source name so here we will need to give that property and in case if we have selected non xa data source as per the requirement we will be adding this detail to this particular property where it says xa source name so we'll just put it here we'll hit enter and it should be entered in here so we'll click on save now again at the top as you can see that all changes have been activated no restarts are necessary so from here if you'll see we have completed these two steps now this third step is required so under the deployment section only we will need to update the adapter we will need to update the uh, plan.xml for that or need to create a new one if needed so under this db adapter we'll click on this checkbox and click on this update section here and now we'll redeploy it we'll finish it now as you can see selected deployments are updated no restarts are necessary and all changes have been activated so we have successfully configured oracle weblogic server in order to use db adapter in our soa project so if i summarize what we did is we need db connection details to create data sources we are using xa data source and we need to create a jndi for that after that we will go to deployment section and under that under db adapter we will create admin connection pool jndi and in that jndi we will give uh, the data source jndi so that it will be linked to the database and then later on we will update the db adapter so the configuration part is done and now the actual stuff will happen where we will use all these configurations into our soa project however this is it for this particular session and in next session we will 
proceed from here itself. So in our next session, we will be using these details in our SOA project. So thank you so much for watching. You take good care of yourselves. Bye bye.